Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome. I'm so glad that you're here today. Thank you for joining me uh, during Subscriber Appreciation Month. It is so much fun and I invite you to go to the April 1st video. It's linked below and check out the challenge that I have for this month. You don't want to miss it. Lots of fun uh, today. Uh, this month and today. But anyway, today's video, I invite you to hang out with me as uh, I show you how to create this little mini book. It is so cute and it has these little fun pages in it. And this is a um, miniature book from Rustic Playground. I was looking on the website and I'm a member and you can join her Vintage Visionaries Club, which is um, like a club that in, it's more than just a member a subscription. But you can also join the subscription, uh, which is a monthly packet of like 50 different designed papers and everything for your junk journals and maybe scrapbooking and everything like that. She's a beautiful artist and she does such a great job. And I have an affiliate link be below if you are interested in checking it out. I invite you to go look. I do get a little kickback from that if you, if you do purchase anything. She also has an Etsy shop. And for the membership, um, there is a 50% off code for your first month. It's Cindy is the code word. So check it out. Hope that you will. Um, but I'm going to show you the this cute little miniature book set that you can get. And this is actually from her Etsy shop. And when you join her membership, um, you also get everything that's in her Etsy shop. So just FYI. Lots of bonuses. All right, let's check it out. All right, so when you do purchase this little book, you get all the little pages that go inside it. And I put two sets, two little signature pages in this one, and it's so cute. I've already done some cutting, but I'm going to show you how it comes to you. It does come with instructions, and of course, um, you can change it however you want to. Really, what you need is to be able to cut this out, and you need glue. If it's printed on cardstock, that is what the best is. So here are the different books. So this is the inside of the book cover, so I'll show you that is the inside so you fold it that way and she's got January, February, March, April, May like little magazine books and then these are your pages and she shows you how to have where to fold so it's kind of a mountain valley fold and um, I'm going to show you how to make one so first you're going to want to decide which cover you want to use. And I think there's enough, like if you just wanted to put one of these pages per book, that's fine. We're going to just do February. So you can see where the inside of your uh, magazine or your book is. And then here is the outside. And this is where your spine is. So you just fold it in half and you can use a bone folder to more securely fold it. Then um, you're gonna fold here and here to give your book a spine. We're gonna fold this here and then we're gonna fold this here and then we'll go over this edge just to make it a little more crisp, okay. Then we're gonna glue. So you're just gonna glue this together. I wouldn't over glue it, but you do wanna make sure you get in the little crevices. Now, one thing I was thinking that could be done with this is make it into little magnets. Don't you think that would be cute? And if you have a little shop, those these would be fun to put um, as little magnets in your shop. Anyway, all right. So that is the cover for your book. Next, you're going to take, I, I used two, like I said, and uh, you just cut out the strips. So the strips are like this. You just cut them out. Um, do print them on cardstock. All right. I'm going to fold this. This is my middle here. And she's got all your pages marked um, where the folds go. And it's a Mountain Valley fold. So on this one, you're going to fold right here. And then you're going to fold this one back. So you want to make sure you get them lined up pretty good. And make sure you don't um, 
you want them to be even, in other words. So then you're gonna do this one the same way. Here. And then fold here. Now the way that I did it might be different than some do it, but this is gonna be your pages and they're gonna open like this. So that opens, this opens. So what I did was I put a little glue right here on the first page here. And then I put a little glue here, not a lot, just a little. And then while I'm working on the other page, I put a little glue here of where that's gonna glue into the spine. So I'm just gonna hold that with paper glue. So then we're gonna do this one. So we fold it in half. And then we fold on these different um, pages. I wanna make sure we get them as even as possible. And then fold this one back like that. And these are really cute. I was so funny that I just happened on them as I was looking uh, through uh, Carla's site. And I know that a lot of you really love miniatures and I thought this would be really fun to show you. All right, so uh, I'm gonna put a little glue here and glue that. And I don't think that that was part of your instructions, but I like it. it, just keeps it together a little bit better. Okay, and I'm just gonna go over these little pages here again. Now I'm gonna put glue here to glue the pages and that's where they're gonna glue into that spine. So we're gonna take this off, kinda hold that together and you can see how your pages are glued together. So we're just gonna glue these into the spine, just like that. So I'm just going to put a little glue here and glue this one in and just hold it there for a little bit. And then I'm going to take this one, which it's not quite dry, but you really should wait till it's dry and glue this one in. Make sure it's right side up. And then your little book comes together. I'm just going to clip that for a moment and show you this one. So your little book comes together, little tiny book, and it's so cute. Don't you guys think that's cute? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Go check out Rustic Playgrounds um, site. Use my code if you're interested, Cindy, C-I-N-D-Y, and the affiliate link is below. Um, she has a yearly membership as well. Uh, that code Cindy will give you 50% off. So I hope you enjoyed this. These are so cute. I can't wait to finish making them. Aren't they cute? Oh, they're just so cute. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.